Hello everyone, my name is Eric Creel and welcome to the Creel Studios. So I here today to review the film Scream 5. For the plot we have Sydney and Gail who want to find out what happens next. And then suddenly happens is when Amber Freeman wants to solve what just happened. And then suddenly Scream Face, I mean Ghost Face, got stabbed and kills innocent people. And then suddenly, when Ghostface comes in and they kill some peoples, and then suddenly, and it's up to Sydney and Gail to just what happens next, and Amber Freeman wants to find out what to kill some innocent people, and that's basically the plot for the entire movie. So, what do I think of Scream 5? So, when it comes to the franchise, which is Scream, so... The first movie all the way back when in 1996 it was a masterpiece one of my favorite movie of 1996 it has with the amazing blood effects and amazing blood and gore visuals look really awesome as for the sequel scream 2 it is even scarier than the first or should i say better than the first movie and as for scream 3 and you know written by aaron krueger yeah, I'm not going to watch Scream 3, to be honest. Scream 3 is pretty much more like a TV series rather than a theatrical release movie, in my opinion. And as for Scream 4, this is when Scream 4 fixed so many problems after Scream 3. Scream 4 is way more, under, I mean, way more underrated and way better than the third movie. Even though Scream 4 is still a theatrical release movie in my taste. And finally, we have this one. Scream 5. Or should I say, Scream 4 2022. Which is a legacy sequel to the fourth movie. It came out a decade after the fourth movie. So, after I watched Scream 5 on Showtime On Demand. During to the noon. And then what do I think of it? This is, without a doubt, one of the best Scream movie in this franchise. And not just that, one of the best horror movie of 2022 in my taste. So, the story is absolutely really awesome. The special effects with blood and gore looks really awesome. The scary sequences look so awesome, even scarier than the previous one. And the characters, we have Sydney. She is amazing. Gail, she's awesome. And I know her name, Gail, who performed by Courtney Cox. She looks really interesting. And then we have Amber Freeman. She is awesome. My personal favorite character in the entire movie. All kinds of characters look really awesome, including the original actors you know from Scream 1 and 2 and especially 4. They're awesome. And last but certainly not least, Ghostface. He's awesome in this one. And the music scores look really awesome. I have no complaining about this film. Overall, Scream 5 is the best movie out of the Scream movies. I gave Scream 5 a 10 out of 10. It is an amazing, brilliant masterpiece. And it definitely gets the seal of epic masterpiece. So, tell me what do you think of Scream 5? Let me know in the comments. And stay tuned for tomorrow is my Netflix original movie review, which is the exciting of the world premiere of Wendell and Wild, which I'm really curious to watch Wendell and Wild, which is from the creators of Coraline and The Nightmare Before Christmas. That might be exciting. So if you want to see more videos to my channel, click subscribe, click the bell button if you want to see more messages, notifications, whatever you want. Thanks for watching, and until tomorrow, goodbye.